Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Lee Binkley and this week we're going to be tackling the text to columns feature in Microsoft Excel. So Excel's text to columns feature splits text in a cell into multiple columns and this simple task can save a user the heartache of manually separating the text in a cell into those separate columns. Um, so this is great. Um, for this example, we have a data set of different names of individuals and say for example we want to go ahead and split them from first name and last name. Now the text to columns feature um, can work in various ways, um, whether it's potentially uh, a date range, a list of dates, or even an email address, and you want to split the domain from the email address. It just is determined on you know what criteria you want uh, to split the text within the cells from the text to column uh, wizard. So for this, you want to go ahead and select the data set you want to split the text in. For this example, it's all the data in column A. So we'll go ahead and select all of column A. And then we will go to the data tab in the ribbon. And then under the data tool section, we'll go ahead and select on text to columns. And once that's selected, it will then display the convert text to columns wizard. And there's be a few different steps here that we'll go through. The first one being uh, what, what type of file that we want to describe the data. Um, in most cases, it will just be delimited because we want to split the data based on characters such as commas, uh, tabs, could be spaces, things like that. So we'll go ahead and select delimited and then next to go to the next step. On step two here, we can see the different delimiters. So um, it's set on tab or we have the option for semicolon, comma, space, or if there's a specific character we want to split the data on, we can go ahead and select that in the final checkbox. But for this example, we'll go ahead and select space and unselect tab. And once that's selected in the data preview, we can see where it has split that data for us and kind of see what it would look like as we progress through the wizard here. All right, and then we'll go ahead and click next to go to the next section here. And the third and final step, it will then ask if there's a certain format we want the column to be uh, displayed in. So uh, typically it could be general or text. You also have the ability to format it as far as a date goes. And then another part here is also the destination. If you want the, the data to be displayed in a certain destination within this sheet or even a different sheet, you can go ahead and enter in that location here in the destination field. All right, and once everything is good, we have all of our criteria determined, we'll go ahead and click Finish. All right, and as we can see here, it has taken the data set and broken it up by first name and last name. Just kind of an example of how this feature could be used. Now again, the text to columns feature doesn't have to be used exclusively um, just for data sets that only include spaces. As we saw from the wizard, if you have names possibly separated by commas, you can split the text based on those values. Um, it could also be a dash, a slash, things like that. Any special character or any sort of character that you'd want to split the data on, um, that's certainly your advantage while using this feature. Well, I hope you uh, learned something great today, something that you can use in your personal or even your professional life. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We have several videos uploaded every Friday that can help you through tasks like these, um, learn different things, various applications, technologies. Also I invite you to check out our website, www.tcworkshop.com, where we have all of our upcoming classes available. I uh, invite you to come and uh, take one of our classes, join us, and uh, stay tuned for the next video, and we'll see you all next time.